Most people probably think that Harley Davidson was founded by two guys whose last names were Harley and Davidson. Well, they're half right. It was actually founded by one Harley and three Davidsons working together to create the brand that would revolutionize transportation and America. The company's roots lie in two boys, William Harley and Arthur Davidson. They grew up just a couple houses apart in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Both boys loved their bicycles. Harley even took a job at a Milwaukee-based bicycle factory when he was only 15. He rose from the rank of cycle fitter to drafter, and that eventually led him to work as a draftsman at a different manufacturing company. It was while he worked there that he designed his first internal combustion engine. William Harley and Arthur Davidson spent the next several years working on a prototype motorcycle in their spare time. The prototype, well, it fizzled out, but it proved to be worthwhile because it helped William and Arthur realize that they needed a machinist. The two reached out to Arthur's older brother, Walter, who was living in Kansas at the time. Walter arrived expecting to see a motorcycle, but instead, well, he just found a worthwhile dream. So he decided to stay in Milwaukee to make William and Arthur's motorcycle a reality. After drawing up plans for a small engine designed to fit on a regular bike frame, William Harley worked with Arthur and Walter Davidson to build this motor bicycle. They finished the first model in 1903. While the test was mostly successful, the bike was unable to climb hills without the rider providing pedaling assistance. Soon, the trio was joined by another mechanic, Arthur's oldest brother, William Davidson. By 1904, they completed their second prototype it was the first ever Harley-Davidson motorcycle to participate in a motorcycle race. And while it didn't win, the foursome was inspired to continue innovating together. Walter Davidson was named the company's first president. Arthur Davidson was their first general sales manager and the secretary. William Davidson was their first works manager, and William Harley, he embraced his role as the chief engineer and treasurer. Given the ratio of three Davidsons to one Harley, you may be wondering why the company wasn't called Davidson Harley, but since the original idea for the motorcycle came from William Harley, the group thought it was only fair to have his name come first. Now that they had a working model, Bear Harley-Davidson engines were listed in the January 1905 Automobile and Cycle Trade Journal. Just four months later, Harley-Davidson motorcycles were in production. That first year, five bikes were produced, three of which were sold by the first Harley-Davidson dealer, Carl Lang of Chicago. By 1906, Harley and the Davidson brothers moved out of their shed and into their first factory. Harley Davidson headquarters are still located on that same site all these years later. They produced 50 motorcycles during their first year in the factory, 10 times more than they'd created the entire year before. Within one year of building their first factory, they were already preparing to expand it with a second floor. In September of 1907, Harley Davidson officially incorporated their company. They produced 150 motorcycles in 1907, and they began selling them to police departments. Those first three motorcycles produced by Harley Davidson in 1903 all had a buckle crank a single cylinder engine, pedals, and a leather drive belt. 
You would pedal until enough engine compression was built up, at which point the engine took over. Harley, however, wanted to take bikes to the next level, which meant a two-cylinder engine. Perfected by 1909, the engine, called a V-twin, could reach speeds as high as 60 miles per hour. The company continued to grow and improve year after year. New features and designs were constantly being introduced. The factory was expanded several times to keep up with the ever-growing demand for Harley-Davidson motorcycles. In 1910, they had created 3,200 machines. Harley-Davidson has played an important role in American history as well. The company produced over 20,000 motorcycles for the U.S. military during World War I and is one of only two American motorcycle companies to survive the Great Depression, Harley-Davidson also played an important part in World War II. The company produced over 90,000 motorcycles for use in the war. Harley-Davidson was awarded two Army-Navy E Awards for excellence in production in honor of their efforts during the war. The Harley-Davidson bike culture evolved in America over time. Embraced by bikers due to their being big, strong, solid steel, and American, the Harley way of life, well, it wasn't for everyone, but for those that did embrace it, they became members of a fraternity. Over 115 years, Harley-Davidson has grown from its humble beginnings to an American icon. No matter how many things have changed over the years, one thing has always remained the same. Harley-Davidson's commitment to building incredible motorcycles. Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.